programs and people programs is more relevant to this part of the world. I'm sure the initiatives of your holiness in wider ecumenism ever since the announcement of his own holiness visit to this part, I was just going through some of his writings in the network and there I could find how he contributed to interfaith dialogue and interfaith ecumenical streets apart from the church oriented emphasis and and uh, streams. But quite clearly, for a country like India, this interfaith ecumenism is very right. And your suggestions and initiatives are more than for us. Therefore, on this occasion, Kerala Council of Churches expresses its total solidarity with your concept and vision of ecumenism as people for it. And uh, you are an added emphasis on the prophetic role to be played by the churches is very apt in our context also. You said the churches have to respond to the changing realities, especially in the context of the new ideology that is single ideology all over the world, creating disparities and dispute among different communities. And I am sure the property role you uphold in your ministry will be a model for this part of the world also. Once again, I take this opportunity to express our uh, great appreciation and uh, solidarity with the thoughts and ideas you have ever aired in regard to the ecumenical mission for our country. And uh, we earnestly look forward to the fallouts, the impact of your visit to this part. In spite of the ecumenical involvement of the churches, I must say that these days churches are greatly involved in the ministry for uh, denominational identity rather than interdenominational dependence and involvement. I look forward to a time when the churches in Kerala take their message seriously and express more, more interdependent, interdenominational ecumenical movement. And I earnestly hope your visit will initiate steps for permanent peace in the Malangara Sapa. Once again, we appreciate and express our sincere thanks for all your guidance in the total ministry. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Thomas. Now, before we wind up as a token of our love, admiration, and appreciation, representing His Holiness the Savior Smart from our Deliverance First Catholicus and Malaga Metropolitan. His reaction to Paulus Mar Religious Metropolitan the Catholicus designate is presenting a memento to his holiness Aram from the first, the Catholicus of the Great House of Cilicia. As a visible expression of the love and appreciation of the Kerala Council of Churches, Dr. Simon John, the Vice President of the Organization, is presenting a memento to his colleagues.
revered bishops, reverend fathers, distinguished guests, brothers and sisters in Christ. To such an important event, we very briefly present the sum of our thanks. On this occasion that we have gathered here together, on behalf of all those present, may we extend to our beloved Kadolikos designate our deepest thanks for taking time from his busy schedule to come and preside over this event and for gracing this occasion. To you, your gratitude, we present our sincere thanks. It is indeed a great privilege to record your holiness, our thanks once again. And on this occasion, on behalf of the seminary and all those present here, we want to extend to you our grateful thanks for all the great service you have done to us. Despite your disclaimer that you are no physician, you laid very clearly the pathological problems of ecumenism, provided the prescription to resolve this malaise and peer into the future with your prophetic insight to show the way of how we could move and engage in ecumenism. In all that, Your Holiness, you drew from the wellsprings of your theology, the Oriental theology, and to show that the dynamism of the Oriental churches is still strong and vibrant, not only in contemporary issues, but also in engaging the ecumenical movement. On behalf of all of us, Your Holiness, and for the similar service that you've done to us, this theological community, and also for gracing this campus, we extend to you our deep I may take this opportunity to also express our sincere thanks to the members of the delegation that have come from the Armenian Orthodox Church, Archbishop Sarkisi and Prelate of Tehran, Bishop Dare Almesia, Ecumenical Officer, Father Mesrov Sarkisi, and Secretary to the Kalulingos. To all of you, we extend our warm thanks for being present in this honor. We have been raised with very many messages, and I will quickly refer to them. We thank the Right Reverend Dr. Segria Smart Theophilus, Suffragan Metropolitan of the Martoma Church, for the inaugural address. We want to thank Right Reverend Thomas Samuel, CSR Bishop Mathe Kenneralysis, for the benedictory address. The messages of felicitations, felicitations delivered by Metropolitan Thomas Mark Timotheos and Metropolitan Gibbonis Mark Kurilos of the Malangara Syrian Orthodox Church. To all of you, we want to extend our deep thanks. Our thanks are also extended to Professor Philip and Thomas, Secretary of the Kerala Council of Churches, for the felicitations and also to Dr. Simon John, Vice President KCC, for the presentation of mementos. The bishops of the Malangara Orthodox Church are present here. We thank all of you for taking time out from participation of the Holy Synod to grace this occasion to all of you our deepest thanks. Reverend fathers, reverend deacons, and brothers and sisters all present here who have come here out of your interest to learn about ecumenism and to show your respect to the holiness. We want to thank all of you for your presence here this morning. We also want to thank Father K. M. George for the words of introduction, the media for their coverage of this event, and last but not least, the students for their participation and contribution in decorating the seminary and making it a very presentable venue for the session. With these words, I'd like to conclude our vote of thanks for this day's meeting. Thank you, Father Matthews. And finally, but before the final benediction, His Holiness would like to graciously present a gift to Father Dr. K. George, the principal of the seminary.